You will make them princes over all the earth. They will remember your name through all generations. Thus the people will praise you forever, from age to age. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. My brothers and sisters, let's acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of hearts. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Defend your church, O Lord, by the protection of your holy apostles, that as she received from them the beginning of her knowledge of things divine, so through them she may receive, even to the end of the world, and increase in heavenly grace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard a voice from heaven speak to me. Then the voice spoke to me and said, Go take the scroll that lies upon in the hand, open in the hand of the angel, who is standing on the sea and on the land. So I went up to the angel and told him to give me the scroll the small scroll. He said to me, Take and swallow it. It will turn your stomach sour, but in your mouth it will taste as sweet as honey. I took the small scroll from the angel's hand and swallowed it. In my mouth it was like sweet honey, but when I had eaten it, my stomach turned sour. Then someone said to me, you must prophesy again about many pe peoples, nations, tongues, and kings. The word of the Lord. Thanks. Our responsorial song, how sweet to my taste is your promise. How sweet to my taste. In the way of your decrees, I rejoice as much as in all riches. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. How sweet to my taste is your promise. The law of your mouth is to be more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. How sweet to my taste is your promise. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart they are. How sweet to my taste is your promise. I gasp with open mouth in my yearning for your commands. How sweet is my taste, your promise. Ah. Uh -huh. 
my sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them and they follow me. Alleluia. According to Luke. Jesus entered the temple area and proceeded to drive out those who were selling things, saying to them, It is written, My house shall be a house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And every day he was teaching at the temple area. The chief priests, the scribes, and the leaders of the people, meanwhile, were seeking to put him to death but he could find no way to accomplish their purpose, because all the people were hanging on his words. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Jesus Our Gospel today talks of the temple, and today we have the actual memorial of the dedications of the basilicas of Saints Peter and Paul. And we see in those houses to be houses of prayer, along with the house in which we're in today, the Church of Madre Christi, that we're able to have these houses of prayer all around us. It's a reminder, too, that our very selves can be houses of prayer. That is not to replace the house that we go to, replace the uh, the area and the altar where we receive the body, blood, soul, and divinity, that we receive special graces in the house of the Lord. But our idea, our reminder is as we leave liturgy, we take God with us. We take God within us in the Eucharist, but also we take God within us and what we have heard in sacred scripture, what we've experienced through the charity and love of one another, and we go out into the world so that we might continue to be, in a sense, that house of prayer for others, that others might receive those graces so that they too might follow us back into that worship of the Lord at the Divine Liturgy. It's such a great grace that God has given to us that we can be, in a sense, church after church, that we can still have that unity, that we can still have that expression of God's love, that we can still have the presence of God in our lives outside the temple. But the only way, in a sense, to do that is to receive the graces within the temple. It is that great action that, in a sense, we are like vehicles that need that gas to propel us on our mission, but we also need to go back to those gas stations in order to receive that nourishment once again, that we were able to be full of the Holy Spirit, be full of the Lord, so that we can be spread out into the world to do those activities that we do. My dear sisters and brothers, let's continually rely on the graces that God has given us. Let's continue to rely, especially on the great mass that the Lord has offered for us, sacrificing himself for the world and particularly for each one of us. As we receive those graces, we may carry those graces to all those that we meet, especially as we receive our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament. As we receive His body, blood, soul, and divinity, we might be unified with the Lord so that we might unite one another. My dear sisters and brothers, made bold by God's word, let us offer our prayers and petitions to our Heavenly Father, that the baptized may be nourished by the sweetness of God's law. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. That people of faith may defend their traditions from the corruption, misuse, and greed. We pray to the Lord. Lord, 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 Lord. That rulers and peoples may heed the words of God's prophets. We pray to the Lord. That the sea and land may receive the protection and care due to do what God has made, due to what God has made. We pray to the Lord. Lord, That the sick may take in and absorb God's healing message 
we pray to the Lord. Lord Let's pray for Ronald Mchowski, for Jose Herrera, for Marge and Bill uh, Futurter, for Mary Pavlik, for peace in our world, especially the Ukraine. We pray to the Lord. Lord that the dead may live forever among the angels of God, we pray to the Lord. Lord and for your own intentions. Lord, help us be the bearer of the fruit of the Holy Spirit in our daily life. Love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, gentleness, generosity, self-control. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord our prayer. Lord, we offer to you the homeless, the hungry, and those who have nothing. This we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all these prayers and prayers and sounds of our hearts, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear us, God of glory, and nourish us with your word. May your message sweeten our spirits, that we may speak peace to every nation and people, ruler and tongue, now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed Blessed God. Pray, brothers and sisters, my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. As, you, as we bring you this offering of our service, we beseech your mercy, Lord, that the truth handed down to us by the ministry of the apostles Peter and Paul may endure undefiled in our hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to be thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you, Eternal Shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through the blessed apostles watch over it and protect it always, so that it may be governed by those who have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and minions, with all the hosts of powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we are praying. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, 
by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. By the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. We thank thanks you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, to with Francis our Pope and Blaise our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Hugh, St. Paul the Sixth, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We be married to be co heirs to eternal life. May we praise and glorify you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. By the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. But not in our sins, bound the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. Who live in me forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. 
Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be. O oh Lord, you are the words of eternal life, and we have come to believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God. Let us pray. May your people, we pray, O Lord, nourished by the bread of heaven, rejoice in commemorating the apostles Peter and Paul, for it is through your gift that we are governed under their patronage, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go for the Mass is ended. Yes. Together, let's pray a Hail Mary for the needs of our church, of our world, and of our community. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Let us pray a prayer to our mother and mothers. Mother, mother, holy queen, chosen before all women to be the mother of the Son of God. 
Mary, my mother, whom your maternity has so sanctified the state of holy motherhood, imploring thee, I come to you, humbly I beseech you, happy in thee, I trust in you. I know that you can, by your own powerful intercession, help me in my need. In you I take refuge, dear Virgin, for in me I place my hope entirely in you. I relinquish all that happened to me in your hands. Betray not my own trust, but hear my petitions and come to my aid. Dear Mother of Mothers, Amen. Mother of Mothers, Amen. 